Hello, Bar Review Nation, Gabe, Nick, and we are here today to bring you another song reaction fresh off the presses. Now, full disclosure. Fully. Full disclosure. I've heard parts of Indian because it was one of the most iconic rap rock uh, uh, crossovers. I mean, I would either I would say two of the most iconic rap rap rock uh, 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 crossovers were. Um, I'm, gonna stop, Jay -Z. I'm gonna stop you right there. You're thinking of Numb from in, in the end, from Lincoln Park. That was the icon. Do, 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 do. In the end, right? That's not this one. That's not in the end. That's Numb. Okay, well they then. did one with him, right? But it wasn't nearly as big. I'm sure you still heard that one too. So I can they did feel your pain. I can feel you. Something like that. I, can't, I just remember yeah, Jay Z's because yeah. like encore because that's the one yeah. they've been with. Encore, okay, yeah, and then. Uh, Beastie Boys did one with um, Run DMC, and a lot of people are like, uh, not Run. Is that Aerosmith and, 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 and Run DMC? Walk this way. Yeah, I didn't even know, but that's iconic. And I mean, those like to me, I would say when you're able to to to, to permeate a a different genre. And it becomes. And you're welcome for my singing, by the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're welcome, America, <laughs> and the rest of the world. Uh, that's when you know you made it, right? That's when you know you big or whatever. And not to say Lincoln Park wasn't big, but the fact that Jay Z, who was the biggest at the time, and is on the Mount Rushmore of rap, like there's no question. It's him, Biggie, Tupac, Eminem, and then you know, Dude. fifth places. There's a lot of people vying for that fifth place. But uh, at that point, it's like, yeah. We made it. And I don't know if they were the biggest rock band at the time, but there's a reason Jay-Z told them. They, they were pretty big. I'm not sure if they're the biggest of the big, but they were pretty big. But I still get goosebumps of that Numb Encore song because that is one of the times that the, the stars aligned and just these two songs. And Linkin Park made some concessions with this song in that combo. I don't know if Jay-Z made any besides allowing it to be meshed in there, but it's such a great mesh of a song all right i mean numb's a great song by itself i i would say it's even better with the do you want an encore do you want or not? whatever he Took says the first part. With your Brooklyn yeah boy. but it goes with the numb music yeah. It's, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. it was crazy. it's so great this is different this is in the end but this is lincoln parks i would still say to this day their biggest song yet this is a song that they were already getting big with the crawling that you reacted to last time okay this is a song that sent them out to the stratosphere crawling is like oh this is a pretty cool no this, this is where they blew up. This is where everyone I was telling about the band understood because they got that big one. This song was on the radio all the time gotcha. back in whatever, 2001, 2002, whatever it was. And I'm excited for you to check it out, especially now that I th now that I know that you thought Numb was this. I Again, he did a song with them on this, but it was not nearly as big of a single. This song is awesome. I guarantee you'll recognize it once they start playing. If not, then it'll just be a nice treat for your ears, hopefully. Or maybe you'll hate it. We'll find out. If you like our reaction to this in any way, his first time, please don't forget to... Like and subscribe. But see, that the fact that you knew the title and you knew it was one of their big songs tells me that you've probably heard parts of it. But for some reason, this man has not sit down and just listen to Lincoln Park. He should. Here we go. <laughs> I absolutely heard this. It's yeah. Yeah. There you go. It starts with one. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I'm designed this rhyme to explain in due time. All I know. Time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on. Didn't even know or wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept everything inside and even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to be will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so hard. Don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. 
try Keep that in mind I designed this rhyme to remind myself how I tried so hard In spite of the way you were mocking me Acting like I was part of your property Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so Things aren't the way they were before You wouldn't even recognize me anymore Not that you knew me back then But it all comes back to me in the end You kept everything inside And even though I tried It all fell apart What it meant to me will eventually be a memory Of a time when I tried so hard First and foremost, I, I mean, needless to say, it's going to be an added it. But I need you to do me a favor and double check because either I'm, it's Mandela Effect. I could have sworn I heard this song on Jay-Z's album, The Crossover, and... It is on the album, but it's a different song he sings with him. But it, is it on the Crossover album? Yes. And I could have sworn Jay-Z does have a crossover in this song as well. Because I'm like, wait, I've heard this It's before. on whatever they call the thing where they, uh, coll collision course. Whatever the CD was with Jay-Z. It was like six songs. In the end, and then Jay-Z. I'm not sure which one. I, I, I'm like, wait, I could have sworn that he does a... So that one says, yeah, Num Encore. All that's coming up, Izzo. Was within the end. Okay, so he there was a, co a collab with it. There was. It just wasn't nearly as, as big, big. But I could. I was, I, I was like, I, I remember hearing it. But dude, first and foremost, I love this version even better. It it, it does better than the H to the Izzo because that's what the one that was collaborated with, yeah. with it. Because I was like, wait, I've heard this in the end. It was collaborated with it. You're right. Gnome was much better. But this was big. Is it? Was it the blonde dude that that Chester, self deleted? Chester okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, self deleted. Yeah, that's that. That's how we have to say it in in in. in self deleted. We're not allowed oh. to say that word. Okay. But uh, unfortunately, uh, he self deleted. But um, dude, it was better on its own. And I I want to kind of. Like, is none better on its own than the Jay Z uh, uh, collab? Because now, like, man, sometimes when you collab, you're like, oh, that was dope. But yeah, the H to the Izzo was good with it, but it wasn't. A, this was amazing, bro. And I was like, holy, he can spit bars too. My man can actually rap. I could see why he was able to make that smooth transition, and, and uh, the the song was able to be so easily adopt uh, adaptable. Um, dude, you know what? That don't mean I'm a fan. I may start checking out some of that new stuff. Or you know what? Since you said, uh, 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 since you said that they the new stuff is doing pretty well, maybe next time we do some of their new stuff because I like their sound. Their, their sound is so new, unique. It's not metal, but I would definitely. No, it's a good idea. It, it, we should it, definitely it, check it, out one rock. of their new songs. One of the songs I've been listening to a lot. Um, over each other is the name of the song. Want we'll to check that one out? But according to Google Music, that one is being played the least by the fans. I don't know why. It's my favorite one so far. 
but the new album comes out either this week or next week. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe for when the new album comes out, we'll check out what, we'll whatever that it. top hit is. Absolutely. Let us know in the chat if you guys want that. But um, I'm excited to check out some of their new stuff because, again, I, I was telling you before in one of our other recordings, like, all the music I listen to is all music. I cannot say there's a new artist. Like, Kendrick Lamar is probably the last new rap album where I, I actually downloaded on, on iTunes. I remember, remember we used to have to buy stuff. I just download the songs I like on there or whatever. Uh, it's a different world, boys and girls. Back in the day, remember that? Like, you had to buy you an had album. to pay to play. One person would buy the album, and then you're making tapes for all your friends. Right. And by the time the 10th person got the tape, it's all, like, grainy, yeah. and it sounds terrible you or whatever. Pay. You, it's not for free like it is nowadays. <laughs> I feel bad for the artists because, I mean, they're still making money, but not the people that are not big-time mainstream. Oh, no, not at all, not at all. Then it was the Napster. Remember Napster oh, came yeah. out? We used to be able to just burn it on. The, and the sound quality was amazing. <laughs> not like, you know, recording from the tapes. But um, dude, I'm dude. This was dope, man. This was probably I can see why this is their biggest song. I, wow, I think I might like this more than Numb, honestly. Like this version, uh, uh as opposed to the H to the Izzo Numb, it was not, not H to the Izzo in the end was not as good. No, I agree. I actually didn't like that 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 um uh, mesh song. I because so in the end is my favorite Linkin Park song. Right. It, when it came out, I probably listened to it at least. 200 times or whatever in a short span couldn't get enough of it i'm like man this is like the best type of song where you got rock and rap coming in together um i just absolutely love it is it better than numb by itself no because i put this above it numb is still a great song i believe that the numb encore mesh in my personal opinion elevated numb to being as you know it's still a great song right oh, it's iconic but i didn't notice how great it was until i heard it with encore now, I don't want to say that one's better than the original because the original is the original. Right. When you do a mesh or you do a cover or you do whatever, then um, or a remix, if you will, then it's its own little entity, right. even though it's, I mean, just like Encore. Would you say that Encore Numb is better than the original Encore? No way. As a big rap fan, there's no way you would say that you like the original more than this, but you can appreciate both. But this, I think, is better than Numb just because this is like lightning in a bottle. This is such a great song. You, you ignore just the, the graphics of the video. It is what <laughs> it is. But the song itself, even Mike Shinoda's, you know, lyrics, his bars or whatever, they're just so amazing. They're so I'm seamless. Playing. And then you got Chester Pennington. He's doing his thing, but then he does his own little solo part, and his voice is so amazing. Amazing. The guy's so talented. And this song, like I said, it just exploded. My, my youngest son... He will ask for this song every time we're in the car to the point where I'm kind of sick of hearing it because he <laughs> listens to it all the time. It's just a song that's going to last the test of time. Right. And I'm glad you like it. Let us know what you think about this song. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. We know all things.